G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. In this video we're going to be looking at um, a screen tearing fix for NVIDIA Optimus. Now I've been on this trail for a long time, managed to come across a website. I've done a couple of videos referencing this fix but I'm not sure if a lot of people have taken much notice but uh, I've been testing it for a while and um, there is a few um, distros, Ubuntu based distros anyway that I've tried it on, four, five or six of them at least. Um, so Ubuntu being one of them. So I just wanted to share this with a few people on what I've been doing to get this screen tearing fixed. Now let's go, got a few websites here and, and just while we're on this, we'll just um, full screen that and I can let you know now that there's a heap of screen tearing right through from bottom to top. Um, looks pretty, uh, doesn't look the best at all. So that's normal because, um, and by the way, um, this is a fresh install after my um, install of Ubuntu 1904. So you can see that um, there's NVIDIA installed out of the box. Um, with Ubuntu so there was no black screen or anything like that so that was all good so this website here and I'll have the links in the show notes anyway this website here has a list of Optimus cards and thanks to uh, Silent Robot sent me this link I've held on to this link because it's very important to me anyway my card is the G GeForce GT745 so this was the um, Optimus supported GPUs so definitely mine was on the list there and um, what I did find was this website here Ubuntu handbook and I referenced this guy in, in one of my videos Jim or Jai, Jai M I'm not sure whether that's a, a mistake in, in the spacing there or not I'm not quite sure but this is the information here that I found Fix screen tearing in Ubuntu 1804 Optimus laptops, which is mine, which I'm always referencing how much of a pain in the backside this um, this uh, laptop is to get going. And this was the Arch Wiki that I was following, and I was doing a lot of the stuff from here. Now I normally find sometimes the Arch Wiki pretty good. You can find a lot of information. You don't have to be running Arch to be going through this. It can be for all different distros, just depends on what the source of the problem is. But if there is an issue, you can be almost guaranteed that you can find it somewhere on the Arch Wiki. So I have used that a few, referenced the Arch Wiki on quite several occasions, and it's been very helpful. In this case, I was getting nowhere. So, um, this is the one that helped me, so well, let's go through that now. Um, so what we've got here is the screen tearing fix for Ubuntu, which is this one here. Um, and this is all on that website that I showed you, so the link will be in the description. So in Ubuntu, we're going to run this command in Terminal. Let me put that in Favorites. It will now be here. Paste that. Now, the only thing I can say is this one here, gedit, is uh, the default text editor in Ubuntu GNOME. But yours may differ. So if we go for text, text editor, which is what we're running here, this one here. And if we look at uh, about text editor, it's gedit. So that's why that is in there. You might be running leaf pad or mouse pad or something along those lines. Or in Linux Mint, it might be XED, which is Z. So um, just to be clear on that, you need to change that one there if that's the case. Um, but in Linux Mint, it doesn't matter. You can do this. Uh, you can right click and open as root and create a document under elevated privileges. Um, in the file manager, that's another thing you can do. So this command will create that NVIDIA-DRM-mode set. 
Um, I'm assuming that's digital rights management or something like that, I'm not sure. And then what we're going to do is copy this command in that text document. And we're going to save that and close that. And then what we're going to do is run this command here to, to update the init RAM FS. Paste that and run that. And that's it. We are complete. Once I restart and come back in, see there's a lot of choppiness and breaking up on the edges of that box there just by swirling that around. That's how bad the screen tearing can be with these Optimus cards. So that's it. I'm complete. I'm going to do a restart, come back in and check out. And I'm 100% guarantee or confident anyway that that will be working with no problem at all. I might actually just star that and stick it in my bookmarks toolbar for now so I know how to find it. Close that and I will be right back after a reboot. Right, so I've um, logged, uh, I've done a reboot and uh, logged back in, no black screen or anything like that, so everything is good. Um, we shall go back to Firefox and back to the screen tearing site and run that, check that out. And I can tell you now that the screen tearing has completely been removed. It's eliminated completely. Pretty happy with that. And if we have a look at this here, nice and smooth, no chopping of the edges at all. So all is good. So I'm pretty happy with that. So just now the other thing I wanted to touch on is if you do decide to go down this road, um, just make sure that you read up on this and also make sure you do your research first on all of this and make sure that your card is um, suited for the Optimus and running this command so you have no problems. But I may do a follow-up video in, in VirtualBox how to rename the file and the file in question would be the uh, Etsy Mod Probe D and NVIDIA DRM Mode which is that one there. Um, in a TTY, if you press, if you get a black screen, you can Control Alt and F F2, Control Alt F2, navigate to here, sudo. Um, and MV for move or whatever it is and just rename this to .bk so it has no influence. You can run this command again which was the this one here and then it, it'll have no influence on the startup. That's if you get a black screen so I may do a video on that. Uh, it's important to show people how to fix things just in case um, they thought they had the correct information and it didn't work out so anyway that was um, a screen tearing fix for my nvidia optimus card hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it interesting and informative and thanks for watching